Hey guys, I'm LB doing this, this dance here and these lasers. And uh, we finally got another cube. So now I gotta figure out what to do with them. Uh, I think you need to go down there. Oh, that was the wrong thing to do. I need another cube now. <coughs> oh my goodness. Wow. So yeah, we're playing Quantum Conundrum, and this is really quite dangerous what I'm doing here. But don't mind me, you know. I was doing this yesterday, I can do it today. There we go. This isn't the best place for children, is it? What the heck? You expect me to jump on those? Yes, they do. Oh my goodness. This isn't the best place for children, is it? That wasn't so bad. Fantastic! Just need to get the alternator arm going. You, get, you guess Dolly's got a safe for me? I keep calling them cues, but they're safes. I love this music, by the way. How about we stand on it this time? Wait, you are ahead of them, right? That's funny. Ah, uh, here we are, back in here. That was sufficient. Enough. Your task is almost complete. And then you can finally leave my home in a state resembling a train wreck. How about you make your way to the Red Wing? It's upstairs. Will do. Fortunately, or maybe unfortunately, you're heading closer to the new technologies lab. Perhaps you might come across some clues to help me piece together this quandary. <coughs> We're moving on, guys. Ah, yes. This is the last in a contiguous series of associated dimensions. As you can see, the gravitational pull in this dimension is directly in opposition to our customary one. Gravity. Oh, uh, watch out! Look out! Do you suppose that the gravitational bodies that influence this dimension are different? Or is the manor, in fact, built upside down? Ponder that. I vaguely remember an IDS receptacle mounted somewhere on the second story. Ah, there's our little friend. You've certainly gotten rather adroit. Can I make it up here? 
These things, by the way, would be flipping up whenever the gravity changes because of Desmond, but I pulled Desmond off to see if that would make it easier. Actually, I might be able to throw him down here from up here if I need him to, to switch gravity again. <coughs> Ah, uh, yes, I do need him to switch gravity again. I believe that opened the hatch over there. I, I... Come with me, Desmond. We're going places. <laughs> I bet you wanted me to do that, huh? Mad scientist, crazy evil laugh. Yeah, this voice actually. I think he's famous, right? <laughs> oh, and the music I like. There should be another drinking bird. I'm mean periodic articulated crewy day in that room influencing this area. I believe that you'll have to wrap around this room to get through. I like the scrapes on the wall. Can I be perfectly honest here? I really have no idea why I set this area up. Oops. Oh, I fell off at the last second. <coughs> oh, here's some safe for me. That wasn't too hard. Oh, you can let me go in this direction. Interesting. At this point, you have traveled further into the manor than any other family member has in the last two decades. Really? I can't say that'll happen again anytime soon. Interesting. Oh, it seems as if the timer on Desmond doesn't have the duration that you'll need. Aha! Uh -huh. That's clever. As a rule, don't look directly into his eyes. Trust me. Put that there, swap these guys out. Some event must have occurred to cause me to be transported to this pocket dimension. If only I could remember what. Huh. 
My headache is getting a little better, although I still have a rather large lump on my skull. Let's get through this loading area. Oh, in case you don't see it, there's an electrical converter on the ceiling that needs to be pressed. Someone's what's coming off, that's funny. Rainbow refraction? <laughs> what the heck? That's funny. I can't believe my memory hasn't returned yet. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Over there, it's, it's messing up. Oh well. <laughs> well, this is a pretty bare bones loading area. <laughs> oh. Again, I'm really afraid to count at this point. I used to somewhat like you. Aren't you tired of wreaking such havoc? <laughs> That's funny. Might be sentient. Greatest puzzle in the world. Yeah, right. Let's see. <laughs> I engineered a completely seedless strawberry once. I hated getting the seeds stuck between my teeth. Oh, I have to push the button. I have fond memories of this room when I was about your age. It used to be the parlor. Oh well. Ike is precocious sometimes, much like yourself. You know, I put those belts there for a reason. Just think about it. Oh, I see they want me to do that. Oh, nice! Not happy. <laughs> Yay! 
You should perhaps place something in there. Okay, I see. going on reverse engineering that. <laughs> Science juice is quite an amazing substance, you know. Okay guys, thanks for watching. That's it for this episode. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye!